5 tips I wish I knew when starting out sim racing. Let's go! First and foremost, learn to take the correct racing line. This is such an easy thing to learn, but I still see beginners doing it wrong and it's literally costing them seconds per lap. Let me demonstrate quickly. Instead of driving in the middle of the road before a corner like shown here, position your car as far to the outside as possible, just like so. Now aim your car to the most inner part of the corner, the apex, and after hitting it, get on the throttle again. When approaching from the outside, you can carry way more speed into the corner and accelerate earlier, gaining time in every single turn. The second tip is something that I personally do all the time, even when I'm not a beginner anymore. Learning from others. Whether it's watching live streams of people racing, analyzing hot laps or viewing track guides, the idea is always the same. You are collecting knowledge and experience that you will often use unconsciously in the future. The best drivers have already spent whole days figuring out the best lines and breaking points for a track, so all you need to do is watch them drive and try to replicate what they are doing. This will save you a whole lot of trial and error and will straight away point you in the right direction, shortening the learning process massively. Now on to tip number 3. Mistakes are allowed and necessary. Don't worry at all if you can't master a particular car or track or if other drivers are faster than you. Take your time. Being quick on the track isn't something you can learn in a day or a week. Getting good at it takes months and sometimes even years. I've been playing racing games for over 4 years now and even though I improved drastically during this time, there are still things to learn and improve. What you also must understand is that all those mistakes, crashes and spins will give you experience and will prevent you from making them again in the future. Fortunately, the sim racing community is a supportive one. You can find lots of advice on the internet and the Discord servers. And from what I have experienced, people will gladly help you out. Also, if you're interested in online racing, you can join racing leagues made for beginners. So, don't get demotivated, continue playing and you will see improvements very quickly. Tip number 4 is to not look at hardware too much. Sure, I would highly recommend a good wheel because it's more immersive and fun in my opinion, but don't think you need the most expensive one as a beginner. For example, I've been using my Logitech G93 for over 2 years now and it isn't some high-end racing wheel for thousands of dollars of course, but it served me well and gets the job done. I am going to upgrade at some point in the future eventually, but for now this suits my needs. A lot of YouTubers and people give the impression that having fun in sim racing isn't possible with a cheaper wheel or even a controller, but this is simply not true. The reason they say that is that they are mostly just doing advertisements for brands they have a partnership with. You can still be quick and have fun on entry level wheels and they are definitely enough to collect experience and improve. What I wouldn't recommend though is buying a wheel without force feedback. The FFB is your only connection to the car and without it you are basically relying on your intuition, which won't bring you far. It also feels very loose and weird, so definitely spend the 150 to 200 euros more for an entry level wheel with force feedback. The last tip is a very simple one, just have fun. I know that that may sound like an obvious thing, but I still wanted to emphasize this. With all the things evolving around sim racing these days, it is very easy to lose track of the core aspects of racing. Think about why you started sim racing in the first place and only do the things you really enjoy. Don't think you need to be the best, quickest and most important driver out there. Play the games the way they are the most fun and the way they will give you the most satisfaction. Right then guys, those have been my 5 tips I wish I knew when starting out sim racing. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and also let me know what wheel you use at the moment. I'll catch you in the next one and until then, bye bye.